Good afternoon and welcome to the My Finances Personal Finance Bulletin. I'm Daniel Ohio and these are the stories making today's headlines. Getting a home information pack through an estate agent could cost consumers as much as £300 more. That's according to a study by WITS that revealed that Countrywide asked for £459 for one on a three-bedroom semi-detached property. The cheapest one on offer came from Friday's property lawyers, which charged just under £190. The Governor of the Bank of England, Mervyn King, wanted to pump an extra £75 billion into the economy through quantitative easing, and not the 50 that was eventually settled on. Minutes from the Monetary Policy Committee's meeting last month show that King and three other members wanted to take the total to £200 billion but were outvoted. However, all the members voted unanimously that the base rate should remain at 0.5%. Much maligned energy companies have exceeded their targets to increase spending on social tariffs, but there is still some way for them to go. The big six firms have spent close to £160 million on voluntary social programmes, while a million customers have signed up to them since October last year. Ofgem's Director of Governance, Maxine Frerk, said that the news is encouraging and urged companies to keep going. Market volatility saw the FTSE 100 fall by more than 1% in early morning trading, with British land leading the fall. Despite positive news over the last month or so, the FTSE seems to be slipping into ill health again, with financial and mining stocks taking the hardest hits. Man Group was down by more than 3.3%, while Lohman fell by 2 and 3 quarters, as did HSBC. And that's all for today. Join us tomorrow for all the latest from the world of personal finance. Until then, goodbye.